Okay, here we are. Welcome back. Silent Hill 3, Part 2, The Nightmare Mall. We are in the mall, and it is a nightmare. It's so bad that we don't have time to read these books and magazines. So instead of that, we're going to haul ass down the hallway because this thing is loaded with dogs. I do not like dogs, you guys, just in general. Like, the Nightmare Dogs in Silent Hill are especially horrifying, but I just don't like them in general. I'm not a cold person. I'm not made of stone. I've just literally been attacked by two dogs. Like, I've been attacked by dogs on two separate occasions. So I don't like dogs. I don't like dog enemies in video games either. This, Resident Evil, oh my god, I hate the fucking dogs in Resident Evil. All right, so we are in search of another chemical, a bottle of bleach or something, and also a hanger. So hopefully we can get... No. <laughs> hopefully we can get in there before we get mauled. I think the hanger is in here. And let's see here. Some gross... Blood spattered clothes here. And then I guess let's see if we can go back through this door like we did beforehand. Oh my god! Classic Silent Hill 3 jump scare, ladies and germs. Okay, what do we have? A hangar? This is the room where we got the bulletproof vest, I think. And where we had the famous handgun scene that we discussed. Jesus, god damn, oh my lord. All right, okay. Oh, Christ almighty. So typically what I'll do is shut the flashlight off because they have a harder time like following you when you have your flashlight off. But if you do that, you can't see your hand in front of your face in some of these areas. Mm -hmm. Seem to go okay though. Yeah, it's the door. That was all right. Shit, I'll take it. All right, I grab a sip of Corona here. A sip of Corona brand beer. I thought about that. I was like, wait a minute. I'm drinking a bottle of Corona as I record this. That is what I meant. Yes, you... It's infuriating that you have to go through this finding the exact spot shit. So here's something I've never understood while we watch her unfurl this hanger. She is wearing a, like, jacket vest, like a down jacket, sleeveless vest. Underneath, she's wearing, like, a sleeveless turtleneck. I do not know if I understand, like, why a person would wear that. I've always wondered about that. I read, I read somewhere online that they gave her a skirt because they wanted her to show some more of her legs. You know, sex appeal, basically. To, you know, show, to be more feminine, I guess. Again, I read this online, right? So I don't understand how complementing that femininity with a sleeveless, like, coat, hoodie, parka thing, and a sleeveless turtleneck. This doesn't really make a lot of sense. Many of us know the answer to this question already. I think my next move should be this. I think, think this is the right way to go. We have the hanger, so now we're looking for a chemical to mix with that bleach. I think this is the disgusting 
like, yep. Oh, oh. I'm going through this quickly because this makes me uncomfortable. Like I said earlier that I don't like dogs because I've been attacked by dogs and I just don't like them, but I'm not made of stone. And that visual has always made me really uncomfortable. There's also a pretty infamous visual involving a dog and a basketball hoop in Silent Hill one. And that also always makes me really just uncomfortable. Like it's very cringy to me. I know it's exactly what it's supposed to do. And it does. Music is creepy. Okay, I know right where I'm at, I think. I think I'm going to, I'm going to not speak too soon. I think we're in good shape here. Oh, all right. I just always want the camera behind me. I've kind of gotten into the habit of just putting it behind me immediately because I don't want to be fucked with. Usually the camera, if you use the default camera angles, like usually they point away from where the dangerous thing is. Oh, awesome. And now we are gonna beat some bitches to death. Oh man, my health. Where are we at in health drinks? Totally worth it. <laughs> I don't know if I ever noticed that before. That's kind of scary looking like something carved its way through this bar thing here. There's a lot of stuff in here that's like that. It just looks like something obviously horrible happened in this location like that uh that counter thing that we ran through even just a minute ago smashed into two big pieces like that's obviously obviously something shitty went down there or something scary or whatever this little teeny room or what? Oh, okay, here we go. I get, there we go. All right. I get turned around really easy, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to turn this into a project or anything. Okay, yes. This is one of my favorite things that Heather does in the whole game right here. This is one of my favorite spots of this entire game. Her reaction to this gas that she makes here. Mustard gas, basically. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm talking specifically <laughs> before she gets up. The initial the initial grunt that she lets out is so funny. <laughs> well, at least that's what I'm doing. Speaking of Resident Evil, this is a very Resident Evil-esque hallway. I don't really necessarily want to compare the two games, but it can't be helped. Like, Silent Hill is a known response to the Resident Evil games, so there are going to be inevitable comparisons. While we're on that, I don't think it's like necessarily fair to compare these two video game franchises as being better or worse than the other. I think that Silent Hill is objectively scarier in certain aspects. That they go out of their way to make you feel really uncomfortable and on edge all the time. Resident Evil is just not that same kind of scary. It's just not the same whatever aesthetic or experience or whatever you want to say. They're separate. They're separate but I like them equally as much. They're both survival horror. The goal is to come out alive at the end. But, I mean... That doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be... You know, exactly comparable in all ways. I don't want to fall in, so. I think I know what's up here. I think, I think. No, ah. Oh, that wasn't the door I thought it was. There we go. All right. We're back on track. I didn't hear what I have to get. This one like I hope not. I need some shit. Oh my goodness. This next room is dark like that too, I think. Oh, man. All right. uh, oh this is not as bad as I was expecting. All right. Well, that sh all right. Whoa! All right, you know what? He's open. Yes! <laughs> oh, that was tremendously stressful. All right, let's see what we have here. A vice. Do I have... The walnut. I need the walnut. God damn it. Alright, we have to go look for the walnut. Okay, I'm gonna cut this here. Yeah, we're just gonna call it quits right here about the, uh, what, 15 minute mark? And we'll come back and look for the walnut in the next part. See you then. Bye-bye.